So the launch team here at the Kennedy Space Center is uh, moving through their procedures to prepare to begin the cryo-loading of the core stage with its propellants. They've fired up the circulation pumps and activated the heaters, and they've uh, configured the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen valves for loading. The ground launch sequencer has been activated. That is the computer that tracks violations that could pop up. There you see a shot of uh, inside firing room one. Seated to the left in the upper deck is launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson. To her right, to her left rather, right on the screen is uh, the assistant launch director Jeremy Graber. And you're looking into firing room two, which has uh, support personnel for today's tanking operation. There are four firing rooms here at the Launch Control Center. So as they prepare the valves and get ready to pre-chill the system, The tanks that they'll be filling on the core stage there, you see it there, nice shot. Core stage in the center. Core stage with its rusty orangish color. That's from the thermal protection system. It's a foam that's sprayed on to the uh, center stage there to insulate it. That helps keep the cryos cold and at minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit for liquid hydrogen and minus 297 degrees Fahrenheit for liquid oxygen, that thermal protection really helps. Though once the fuel starts going in, it immediately starts to boil. Those gases will be vented off until it's filled. That center tank there, as you're looking at the, the bottom of it, uh, that's the largest tank is just inside of the butterscotch colored thermal protection system. That's 537,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen that can be held in that portion of the rocket. Just above that is the liquid oxygen at 196,000 gallons. Liquid oxygen far denser than liquid hydrogen, and so it takes longer to fill it up. That's going to be the long pole in the operation today. Right around the order of three hours or so. All in all, that core stage booster is 212 feet tall, about 27 and a half feet in diameter. That diameter, the same as the space shuttle external tank. So what's coming up next is the launch team is going to pre-chill the lines that run from the hydrogen cryosphere, which holds 900,000 gallons close to 900,000 gallons of liquid oxygen. I should say the liquid oxygen cryosphere holds 900,000 gallons and the liquid hydrogen cryosphere holds 850,000 gallons, very close in terms of capacity. There is a new liquid hydrogen tank being built right now so that it can have a greater capacity. 
it's 1.25 million gallons, almost a 50% increase in capacity. In this shot, you see to the left, the water tower. That's for the sound suppression and ignition overpressure system. That will flow water onto the pad when it's time to launch in order to reduce the acoustic shock that can actually damage the rocket upon liftoff. It also helps keep the pad cool. Millions of gallons of water will flood the deck of uh, the mobile launcher as well as underneath in the flame trench when we're ready to launch. And then to the far left, left of your screen, that's uh, one of the three lightning towers that are out there that help protect this 322 foot tall rocket from a lightning strike. Those launch towers are, I'm sorry, those lightning towers are 600 feet tall and have a catenary wire system that connects them all. And they've come, uh, they've been helpful, in fact, taking some lightning strikes um, when we've had some really stormy weather over the past few months. No issue or, or problems were associated with those strikes. Sunrise was at 10 minutes after 7 a.m. Eastern time. But with clouds and some storm cells off the coast, you can see there that uh, we've got some overcast skies. Weather officer says that shouldn't be an issue for today's tanking test. But we are right on the line when it comes to lightning. There is a 20% chance that we could have some lightning affect the operation. They can't have lightning once they start the flow of cryogenic propellants into the rocket. So we're eyeing some storms off to the off to the east, just off our coast here. So far, though, so good. We are green on, on weather at the moment, but keeping some eye on some activity offshore. This is Artemis Launch Control.